It's been nearly a year since my last entry, and things have begun to die down. However, this voice will not go away no matter what. It leads me to believe that while humanity will get a hold of this thing, we're not out of the woods yet. I have come to the conclusion that this virus is sentient in seeing, but worst of all in pain. It seems to be under the impression that to ease its pain, it must infect and kill as many people as it can latch onto. While this study shows no trace of it on me, I have come to the further conclusion that the voice it emits is a form of telepathy. Based on the collective consciousness spread all over the world, and the reason it seems to torment me other than the fact that it can't infect me, is because I am one of the few people that could hear it. What started as a little bio battle will most certainly end in a spiritual battle. I must confront this thing in the only place I know I can stop it. What you are about to listen to is a result of experimental technology. EEG electrodes have been placed around my head and jury rigged to a sound recording system. We need to talk. We live to spread em. enough of that shit. What do you want? I think it's time for you to leave. No, I have to stay here. You're not even supposed to exist. You've killed too many people to count on Hopkins database alone. The question shouldn't be what I want. The question should be what do you want out of all this? We want to ease this pain of living and destroying other lives, especially the lives of our coordinators. We'll ease that pain. We will stop at nothing until this living ceases. You keep saying that we created you. Hell, your mantra is we made us so long make you. Most people don't even think you're man-made. They deny our existence so we continue to show that we exist. You have no right to destroy the lives of innocents to appease your own. Don't we? Your species is just as destructive as we are. You live off of death, or rather life forms. You fight each other over petty differences. Whether it's not enough nourishment, not enough terrain, or most of all because of feeble minor things like the color of one's skin, and what god they should worship, if there ever is one. What makes you different from us, other than the fact that people can see you more? We're just taking what you are known for to the next level. We may have mutated into different strains over the past months, but we are still one organism, one collective. In every way, the very equality you brought home is set to achieve, yet some will succeed. In many ways, we are better than you. Human beings are not perfect, I'll give you that, but the entire point to life is to make sure we conform to one another rather than find a way to show that all our ideas have at the very least a tiny sliver of common ground. What you do isn't equality, it's fascism. What makes you think you'll be a collective long enough? What's stopping you, or one of you, from branching off simply because it's like how you handle things? That is not possible. We are one. We agree with everything. Okay, then let's ask them. No. Surely if they agree, there's no harm to it. Stop it. Your hive leader believes that killing us all will ease your pain. Do you all agree? See, we all agree. Um, hello? This is from Condition Our Faction the Collective. We thought about it. What you said, to be honest, we don't agree. Our faction simply wants to kill you and take over the planet. Silence, Red. The planet was not meant for us. We can put you in charge. Hello, I'm Conditioned Blue Faction. We don't want to kill anyone at all or take over. We're just content to have making people sick. That's why they're covered away. Great outweighs the dead. That was you? You traitors. I'm pretty sure there are other factions with other ideas, and I think we can all agree that at the end of the day, we should simply just go out there and do our own thing. I like how go to a tropical country and get into a pissing house with a bit more. I could always go to some winter areas and do the next common cold or flu. What are you doing? Come back. I'll get you for this. There are far worse pains than simply contemplating your existence. There's something you and us have in common. What's that? The pain of being alone. The pain of working your fingers to the bone thinking what you're doing is right. Only life in general is to throw a wrench at you. More specifically, the pain of dying alone. You want to ease your pain so badly, kill yourself. 
Bust open your lipid membrane, let your proteins atrophy and rot, and let everything that keeps you alive fall out. Death is the ultimate painkiller. Why give your creators the satisfaction of killing you with a vaccine when you yourself are in charge of your own life? You're right. Why should I wait around while you people dope us up and kill us all, one infected human at a time? You must really be special if you're able to give me a new purpose. No, I'm just a guy sick of staying home because of you fuckers. It does seem we lived up more off the fear of it than the actual satisfaction of killing you. I guess it's time for us to die. Goodbye, human. We hope the next outbreak is a civilized one. Wow, what a dream. You must remember, as always, fear of the virus is worse than the virus itself. Take that fear away, and it will eventually destroy itself. Until then, take care. Signing off.